In this video, we're going to find the pH of several different strong acid solutions, as well as explore what it takes to dilute a strong acid down to not being acidic. First, problem A. We want to find the pH of a container that is 350 milliliters of 0 0.15 molar HCl. The volume is there. It could let us find the moles of HCl, but that's irrelevant. Volume is a bit of a red herring. In this case, we really just need the concentration. Remember that our pH is equal to the negative log of the H plus concentration. So it is volume independent as long as it's the same concentration. In our case here, our pH is going to be the negative log of 0 0.15, which comes out 0 0.8. Two, four. So a 0.15 molar hydrogen chloride solution is 0.824 for its pH. This is because there's a substantial amount of H+. Let's actually find out how much. So in that 0 0.350 liters of HCl solution, and in every one liter of our HCl solution, there is 0 0.15 mole of HCl, which means there's 0 0.0525 mole of HCl present. Well, that amount of HCl breaks apart into H plus and Cl minus. HCl is a strong acid, so this is 100%, which means we end up with 0 0.0525 mole of H plus. That is in our 350 milliliters, but that is a substantial number of moles versus the 10 to the minus 7 moles of H plus in 1 liter of pure water. 5.25 times 10 to the minus 2, this is 5 orders of magnitude more. 100,000 times more H plus is around. And so our pH is substantially less than 7. For problem B, we had 0 0.10 molar H2SO4. Again, the volume in this case is irrelevant. If we want to find the pH, it's just based on the concentration. So our pH is going to equal the negative log of the H plus concentration. But H2SO4 breaks into two H pluses and a sulfate. It's a diprotic acid, which means in solution, while I might have 0.1 molars of the sulfuric acid, when it breaks apart, I end up with 0.2 molar H+. So compared to our HCl reaction part A, despite having a smaller molarity of the starting acid, I end up with a greater molarity of the H plus ion, because twice as many H pluses are created by H2SO4. pH then is the negative log of 0 0.2, which is 0 0.699. Finally, let's dilute 1 molar HCl until it is neutral. Well, 1 molar HCl, the pH of that will equal negative log of 1, which is 0. So 1 molar HCl has a pH of 0. As we reduce that molarity, so say we take a 1 liter bottle of 1 molar HCl, and I just add some water. So I've got a container, it originally has 1 liter, and it has some HCl in it. And then I go ahead and I add 9 more liters for a total of 10 liters. Well, that HCl spreads out, it's a little more dilute. The H plus gets spread out and gets diluted. And that effect is at a volume of 10 liters, I've decreased my molarity to 0.1 and my pH, well, negative log of 0.1 is 1. I can dilute that 10 times again. I can go up to 100 liters, which will take my Molarity down to 0 0.01. My pH becomes 2. 
continue this at a thousand liters my ph will be three because my molarity again will shift one decimal 10 times the volume gives me one tenth the concentration one tenth the concentration has shifted my decimal one place increases my ph value by one so at 10,000 liters, my concentration gets even smaller, becomes 10 to the negative 4 for its molarity, pH is 4. At 100,000 liters, I've diluted to 10 to the minus 5 concentration, pH is 5. At a million liters, 10 to the minus 6 concentration, pH is 6, and at 10 million liters, I have diluted my concentration down to 10 to the minus 7. My pH would be 7. A single liter of one molar strong acid takes 10 million liters of water to dilute it to a neutral level. This is why it's particularly dangerous to ever wash acid or base down a drain. It takes an enormous volume before it stops having an effect on the pH. This is why runoff from mines and industrial settings and even cities, things we dump in the sewers, are so bad for waterways further down the rivers. Marshlands, wetlands, the pH shifts. And even if it's diluted you know, a million times, that still puts you in a five to six range. And there's plenty of life forms that can't survive that. Tadpole eggs, amphibians, all sorts of stuff are very susceptible to small pH changes.